since starting the challenge that I gave myself to create all of the Monster High dolls in The Sims 4, I've gotten a ton of requests to create a bunch of different dolls. I've already created two other really popular wolves, so today I'm going to be creating three other werewolves, starting with Howleen Wolf, the baby of her family. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below. I'm a full-time content creator and any support from you guys goes a very long way. Just a disclaimer, all of the information that I read about these characters is found on a wiki that I will have linked in the description. I am not familiar with a lot of Monster High lore, so if anything is misinterpreted, please let me know down in the comments. Somewhat nosy, Howleen is doing her best to find her purpose and does her best to stand out, especially growing up with so many siblings. Howleen is often borrowing Claudine's belongings because she wants to be just like her older sister Claudine. She just wants to be her own ghoul and often tries hard to stand out. She doesn't care what anyone else thinks and does her best to be independent, often making her appear harsh and sometimes even bratty. Underneath it all though, Howleen proves to be a wonderful friend and sister. Howleen has tan skin but is much lighter than her siblings. Her hair is dyed a bright orange and styled in a frohawk. She has a noticeable childlike appearance, being slightly shorter than a majority of the cast. Her eyes are bright yellow and she has two dog-like ears with the right one constantly folded over. As of late, I've been using Pinterest to get inspiration for how I want my sims to look. So today I used three different portraits of three different people to use as inspiration so that my sims don't look so similar. For Howleen's face, I wanted to give her a much more juvenile look. So I went for a more round face with nine not as much structure. I really like Howleen's G3 look, more specifically her hair. I really like that it ombres into like three different colors, but unfortunately Sims doesn't get that good. So I just went for a punk look overall for her. For her hair, I was going to give her a more punk style of a dark maroon color, but I was really wanting to give her more of her texture rather than the style or the aesthetic. So I decided to give her the texture of, I would say more her G3 ponytail like in the show. And I think the hair that I decided to choose was okay for her but it would have been 10 times better had I been able to add highlights or ombre colors. For her outfit I chose to closely recreate or like 100% recreate her G3 outfit with her puffer jacket and blue shorts and purplish pink shoes. I think they're more pink. I had a few jackets to choose from and I really need to clean out my CC folder because I have so many that look almost identical because all I do is keep downloading even more. <laughs> For her blue shorts, I only had dark blue biker shorts, none of the like bright blue like she has with designs on it. I didn't have anything like that. So I chose to give her more of like a, uh, like a cotton short and I gave her some cute accessories to match her outfit. I knew I wanted to give her her really chunky shoes from her G3 design, so I gave her like the chunkiest shoes possible and I gave her some yellow graphic socks to give her that mismatched sock look that her G3 design has. At first, I really wanted to try to incorporate that red fishnet from another one of her designs, I think Gen 1. I wanted to incorporate that and her black boots. So I tried using leg warmers to mimic the black boots, but it just was not working. It was just too much, so I decided to just go G3. I'm a perfectionist, so it took me like close to six hours to create these three sims. So if you guys can, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. So like I was saying, her outfit, I decided to keep it very plain and it was a little bit too plain. so I I decided to give her a tattoo and it also made her legs hairy because the gen 3 have like fur on their legs so I gave her hairy legs to represent her fur. The nails I gave her were really simple. I love the color with her skin tone but I made sure they were long and stiletto. I think it really fits her aesthetic. She wears bright blue eyeshadow and dark eyeliner so that is what I gave her. I gave her a cute little moon choker with like extra details. It's like a layered necklace and then I accidentally layered another necklace in piercings and it made her entire necklace set gold which is perfect because that's what her necklace looks like in her gen 3 design. I did love that her hair covered her ears so it was a perfect opportunity for me to give her her ears and it just so happened that I discovered a new CC creator or they may be an older CC creator but I discovered some of their custom 
content on the Curse Forge app. One of the ear sets that I downloaded had one that was floppy. I can't remember right now if it was the right ear or not, but she does have one floppy ear and I thought that was perfect for her design. The ears themselves are not perfect. It's not a perfect piece of custom content, but I think it closely fits Helene's design. So this is how Helene came out. I think she's super cute and my favorite part of Helene is probably her hair. I love the texture. I wish I had like a fro hawk style, but unfortunately I don't. And I also wish that I could add like ombre colors. That would be perfect. Next, I'm going to be making big sis Claudia Wolf. Claudia is an aspiring screenwriter in London. Her family is very important to her and she misses them deeply while she is away from school. Unlike many of her wolf siblings, she does not have any athletic ability whatsoever. She's actually quite clumsy. Claudia is a good screenwriter and sometimes takes inspiration from William Spooksphere. My voice gets so weak at night, so this is going to be the last time I do a voiceover at night. So y'all, I do apologize. Like I'm deeply apologetic, okay? I'm apologizing about a lot of things lately, okay? So I was excited to recreate Claudia because first of all, she gives me like rich boss woman vibes like she owns her own businesses and her outfit reminds me of the secretary from powerpuff girls she gives me like a very strong confident sexy woman vibe in my opinion i wasn't able to recreate claudia's luscious golden locks i wasn't able to do her hair any justice so i went with a curly polished looking hairstyle that was bright yellow and i gave her some baby hairs to tie in the hairline because it was kind of non-existent but even so the hair is beautiful after doing her hair I remembered that she wears glasses so I immediately go to my eyelashes and piercings to give her eyelashes and finally I have found eyelashes that work with glasses I actually got really lucky I didn't expect the eyelashes to work with the glasses at all because most eyelashes are going to clash with glasses these twisted cat eyelashes that are in the piercings work with glasses now I don't have to choose between having glasses or shades or something else on the face versus having eyelashes so that's perfect because I love 3d eyelashes I gave her a really curvy body preset because I just feel like that's how Claudia would be shaped <laughs> I gave Claudia a tattoo as well. I gave her one on her lower back as well as one on her chest. I think the red fits really well with her skin tone and of course I had to give her a moon tattoo. For her top, of course, I wanted to give her her signature business suit top in bright red. And after scrolling through my entire CC list, I finally found the perfect suit top. The top was perfect just because it has this moon shape on it. I had a hard time finding a skirt for Claudia. I didn't have any that were yellow with designs on them that didn't clip with the top. I was like this close to giving her pants because that seemed to be the only thing that was working but I kept looking and I eventually found a simple yellow skirt that I could use. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to give Claudia her red socks but after trying every pair of socks and tights that I had, I even tried fishnet. <laughs> I decided that plain socks were best and they actually ended up looking good. As far as her shoes, gold shoes are always going to be the death of me because I literally only have two and I think I've used both of them already. I decided to go with a champagne color gold shoe and I think it worked out fine. It looks good in my opinion. She does wear silver and gold accessories so I gave her a silver bracelet and then I gave her a cute gold belt with a red gemstone and a moon symbol. I also added a top accessory underneath her blazer so there's not too much cleavage showing. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for cleavage but it looks really good with the red lace underneath also. I gave her some red rhinestone french tip nails because why not and then I went straight to the face accessories. Instead of her signature circular glasses I did give her a more square pair. I really don't have a lot of glasses to choose from but I thought out of the ones I did have square looked better than the smaller circular ones that I had. Since her ears are showing I didn't give her wolf ears um, but I did give her a lot of piercings in her actual ears. She wears gold eyeshadow so I gave her a gold shimmery eyeshadow with a inner corner highlight eyeliner and then I chose a nude lip for her. I think it was made specifically for black sims but it looks really good on her skin blend after getting to her eyes i realized i didn't give her a necklace so i went in to try to find the biggest gold moon necklace that i had that i hadn't used already i had to decide between these two and chose the plain gold one because the one with the red moons on it felt a bit too much this is how claudia came out I really hope you guys like her. I really love her design. My favorite thing about her is her outfit, of course. I really love that business look that she has to her. And sometimes I really wish I could dress like that, okay? But I don't have the shape for it. 
Also, I don't have anywhere to wear it to. I just wear pajamas and loungewear all day. <laughs> if you're still watching, I'm gonna start including some little secret words here and there. These words will be important in the future, so the password or the secret word for today is fur. <laughs> I'll leave a comment and include that word as well so I know who my most dedicated viewers are. Before we move on to the last character, all of these sims will be available for download on my Patreon. They will be in early access for the first couple of weeks, but if you are a Pixie, Fairy, or Fae tier member, then you get instant access and can download immediately, or you can choose to wait until it is available to the public. Now, last but not least, we're going to be making Sylvie Timberwolf. Music is Sylvia's main hobby, and she's good at singing and playing the guitar. She's a down-to-earth kind of ghoul that dislikes petty arguments that draw the focus from whatever the goal is, although she's not immune to becoming involved herself. So for Sylvie, she has really bright icy colored eyes, and while doing her skin details, I decided these are going to be her eyes, I didn't want to change her eyes, and at first I wanted to give her heterochromia, but I decided she looked better with two bright icy blue eyes. I absolutely love this color. It looks really beautiful on her. So from that time on, I decided those are her eyes and I wasn't going to choose a different pair. I gave Sylvie a moon tattoo as well. And I gave her leg and arm hair because her physical description on the wiki stated that out of all the werewolves, she had fur on her arms as well. And I could actually see the fur poking out of the top she's wearing on the picture that I used for reference. So choosing a hair for Sylvie was super difficult because like I said sims don't get that good when it comes to hair like we have lots of options we have different textures different styles but we don't have a lot of highlight options or colored options especially with base game swatches so I didn't have any ponytails that were purple and blue and I definitely didn't have any crimped hairstyles like this picture shows but I did end up giving her a dark blue ponytail with the intention of trying different highlights and piercings for her top I wanted to give her a ripped or tattered look because that's what her top looks like but of course, every time I need something very specific, I don't have it. <laughs> and so after bringing it down to these two options, I chose this torn looking top by Bella Loa Lore. They're one of my favorite CC creators. They make the best leather clothes for sure, like top tier leather clothes and all their other clothes are also beautiful. And I chose the white one just because it was a lot easier to match with a skirt. Because Sylvie has a moon shaped heel on her shoes, I decided to go with these boots and went back to change her skirt to give her a more punk look. I did try to give her a flowy skirt at first, but it really wasn't matching with what her aesthetic was coming out to be. And I really can't tell what her aesthetic is based off of her reference picture, but I decided I'm going to go with punk. A lot of the bracelets and rings that I gave Sylvie clashed with her eyes, so I kept her accessories to a minimum. She does have a lot of belts on her skirt anyway, so thankfully her nails didn't mess up her eyes. They were in gloves. I gave her some long purple nails, and I also gave her some fishnet tights to bring more black into her outfit. After that, I went straight to highlights and piercings to try to make some kind of highlights work in her hair. I'm not sure why I thought it would work because one, those highlights are made for Max's match hair and two, they're made for specific hair, but I had high hopes and they were crushed. <laughs> As for piercings, I did give her a bridge piercing because I thought it would fit Sylvie or my version of Sylvie. I also gave her a pair of large silver moon earrings and I gave her lip fang piercings as well, which I didn't realize came off until after I got done with her makeup. Sylvie has really bright eyeshadow and eyeliner, so I did my best to give her bright makeup without making her look crazy. After this terrifying clash happened, I found the perfect eyelashes with color on the bottom and gave her a cute moon necklace. I was really looking forward to giving her white wolf ears but since the hair that I chose exposed her ears she would look really silly if I gave her the no ear preset. This is how Sylvie came out. Let me know what you guys thought of this video down in the comments. I want to quickly thank my patrons for all the love and support that they show me each month. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!